Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Monkey VFX tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a Roblox character in 3ds Max. So we're going to start out by dragging a plane out, and we're going to make, it, and we're going to put the reference pictures we made onto it. All right, so let's get the right size. You have to make sure you put it at the right size, or the picture is going to get stretched and look terrible. So. Over here I made a mistake, it's actually 50.8 by 28.86. Alright, so now once we've done that, we're going to get a reference picture out. I provide it in the link below, and you're going to get it out and drag it onto one of those sphere, sphere things in the material editor. Alright, drag it out. Alright. Now, once you've done that, you put it on, and then you're going to have to, well, put it, put it into front view, and then once you've done that, make sure it is exact, because you want it to, like, you're going to be using that as your reference, so you don't want it to look kind of warped. That would be bad. All right, 90 degrees there. All right. So now we're gonna add the cylinder. I'll put this here. All right, put the. We're gonna drag out a cylinder, and you're gonna extrude it slightly. And now you're going to drag it to where your reference picture is. Make sure it's on front view, or it will warp it. I'll put it over there. All right. So let's drag that up there, and we're going to go into another view, just to like bring it down more in size and see it over there. I don't know a better way for doing this. If you guys do, please tell me. Also you're gonna wanna you don't want any segments on the you don't want any height segments. The segments for like for the sides is pretty good. Alright. Let's put it in the right position. And now we're going to put it into editable, po editable poly. So, take the um, plane selector thing, and, oh, uh, no, don't hold shift. Um, extrude it. And you're just going to want to kind of form the shape of the head, but you don't need it to be too detailed. You can have it really detailed, but you don't really have to. It's a, your choice if you want to extrude it step, plane by plane by plane. Or you can just put it on turbo smooth. But while animating, it's not the best idea to do it because it can sometimes bring your, like, make 3ds Max really, really lag badly if you um, have a lot of characters in it. So, yeah. And now just drag it out. All right, so you're going to extrude it another time. And one more time should be good. Just drag that down. All right. Now. Just play with the, play around with that a little bit. I 
everything looks pretty good. Just adjust that a little bit. All right. Now we're going to select that, and we're going to select the top of it. Alright, 3DS Max just crashed there, so I'm going back to this. And what we're going to do is we're going to select, let's put it into editable poly, and we're going to create a, another copy of this editable poly. Alright. Now drag it by 180. Hold shift to create another copy of it. Now you're going to look and make it 180 degree. Let's bring it down by 180 and put it to the rough place where you think it should be. That looks good. And now we're going to bridge it. So select the two sides of the spheres, the two well, like half sphere things. Select the bottom and then select the top of it. There are two ways you can do it. You can you can either do you can either um what's you can use you can bridge it or you can uh, weld it. Welding sometimes crashes so I wouldn't recommend doing that. And if you you can just do it like that, or you can delete that, and you can select both bottom ends and bridge it. Now you're going to add a smooth modifier so it kind of makes it look better and doesn't make it look blocky. Put it at 32 and there. Now we're going to start creating the body. So let's drag a cube out and make it the rough size that you think it should be. Put it right over there. R to whatever you call it, stretch it, I guess, and then let's bring it down, then bring it down over there, alright, now, now, click the, after you've adjusted that, hold shift, and drag it to the other arm, R and click R and you can drag it I guess leaves a slight space so you can uh, so you can rig it easier later Now do the legs. Now the other leg. If it doesn't fit, you can just slightly adjust it. After I did this, I adjusted the head to be slightly bigger. And I made the legs slightly smaller. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.